Hi guys, it's Kara and I am back with day six of the Lister's Got a List challenge. And I've actually done a lot of prep work on this particular day and you're going to see why here in just a second um, because of the idea I had for putting this page together. Before I get started, I just want to mention I am once again using my Versa, uh, sorry, VersaFine Onyx Black ink, my Martha Stewart stamp press. And of course, the flashy letters set from Mama Elephant for the number. Okay, I have a few embellishments set aside because that's basically what I have left to do on this particular one, and you will see what I'm talking about here in just a second. So the list for today is favorite quotes and scriptures, and I just basically focused on the quotes part of that. I didn't really put any scriptures down, and I didn't really want to put a ton of quotes down. I had three that I really like and I thought I would um, put them on tags and I kind of played around with how I wanted to do that and then I stumbled across all of this um, paper that I had from one of my Simon Says Stamps kits and it's actually like cut for the perfect size just coincidentally for this um, Midori Traveler's notebook insert. So I and decided to use a piece of that paper and then I die cut the tags out and of course the number and all that jazz and because it was going to be so much die cutting and gluing I did all that part first so basically I attached the title of this list to one of the tags and here's my first one you guys have seen this one from me before I love it be a rainbow in someone else's cloud and then this one you can do anything but not everything and the last one is happiness is found when you stop comparing yourself to others and um, this one was unknown as to who said it so anyway before I glued these down I did add a little bit of washi tape on some of them you can see that here okay and I stamped this glass this a uh, pair of glasses right here that's from this little stamp set that I got from Studio Calico you'll see this in an upcoming haul video and I did all of that. I just thought it would be easier to put all that there before I glued it down. So I glued these down. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to glue this to the page and then I have a few embellishments I'm going to finish up with. Actually, I think I'm going to do a couple things before I glue it down to the page. So I have this little stamp set that I picked up at Joann's. This is in another haul video that's coming up too. Um, and I like these little stars. So I think those would be really cute to add in a couple places. I also... I hole punched or I punched out that circle from some other paper that was this size and because I had some of it left I went ahead and used some other punches I had to make some little flowers which I thought might be cute to use just to bring in a little bit more of you know that pattern here because it does kind of match some of the writing in the background can you see that so I thought that would be kind of fun and then I have more of those little hearts, like the one that's right up here. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to add. And I think actually it might be better to do that before I glue it down to the book. So let's play around with that just a little bit. I think these little um, flowers are cute. I like those. And I'd kind of like to have them maybe in a couple different little spots. Um, I'm just not 100% sure where. I don't want it to be too, like, too matchy-matchy, if you guys know what I mean. I think those are kind of cute. And let's see. You know, I should have grabbed some enamel dots. That would be cute for the center of those, is what I'm thinking. Okay, so I have more than of these, but I thought this color right here is kind of an off-white. So maybe I'll put those in the center of the little flowers. What do you guys think? I think I will do that. And maybe I won't use the star stamp at all. Because I'm thinking I can put a little heart here. And maybe another one right here, and I might just call it good. So let's see. 
Okay, I'm going to use the glue stick on this, put it all over that flower. Okay, I'm going to put that right down here, kind of on the edge of that tag. And then let's do this one. I'll hold this up for you in just a minute so you guys can kind of see a little bit more clearly what I'm doing. But for now, I'm just going to put a couple of those down. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the video. I hope not, but the wind is literally howling out there. We have a huge windstorm going on, and it's so dusty. It's not good for everybody who has allergies or asthma, that is for sure. Okay, I'm going to use one of these little enamel dots, I think, for the center. I like the enamel dots because they are not so dimensional, but they still give it a lot of, you know, a little pop there. I think that's kind of cute. And I think two will be more than enough. I'm worried that because there's so much, um, you know, the background of this page is all that, all the writing on the pattern paper. I'm worried that it's going to look a little too busy if I embellish it too much, if you guys know what I mean. I think that looks cute. That should work. And let's see. I'll show you those. So there's that one right there. And then that one down there. And let's put the larger heart. I don't want them to be like symmetrical, like I lined them up on purpose that way. I'm wondering, maybe I should put it right over that little hole where that happens in the tag. Let's see. And it has stuck down exactly where I don't want it to be. Let's see. Maybe just a little bit like that. How about that? that kind of weird because you can still kind of see the hole a little bit? Let's see. Maybe. Can I get that up? Okay. Let's see if I can just put it right on top of that and kind of hide that little hole. I don't think it's a bad thing that is the hole's there, but if I can hide it with the heart, that might be like the perfect placement. Okay, and maybe a small little heart. I'm thinking somewhere right here. The last time I crafted a lot, I was not keeping my nails this long. So I'm having a hard time adjusting to that. And I'm having to kind of figure out, oops, different ways to do things I used to do when I had shorter nails. Because it's either do that or cut them down, and I kind of like them longer. What do you guys think? Does that look okay like that? I feel like there's something missing right here. Maybe I should have put the heart there. Hmm. What do you guys think? I think it's okay. I think I'm like bordering on the line on the getting too getting it too busy line again. Okay. So now all I'm gonna do is basically glue this down in here. So I'm gonna put a ton of glue on this thing. Okay. This is probably where the camera's going to wiggle just a little bit. Sorry, guys. I'm finding that if I just put a ton of glue on this, the glue stick is working pretty well. I just have to put, I think, a little bit more than I thought I did. So that is what I'm doing. I'm going to hold it up and actually do it right on the edges as well. 
Um, I do want to really quickly mention before I forget, or I guess mention um, is probably the wrong word. Thank you guys. Um, there's a, f a f quite a few of you that are routinely making comments on these videos, and I really do appreciate that. It's nice to know that people are watching. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. A couple of you made some great suggestions, and I want to thank you for that as well. Let me just double check where I want to put this. And um, I actually want to mention someone's comment here in just a minute when I have this thing glued down. Uh, because one of you made a comment that I really liked. Pretty sure I responded to you as well, but I wanted to mention it to everybody else because I think that, um, I don't know, I think it might kind of ring true for a lot of people. You know, I know up here where I'm at, um, there really aren't any small scrapbook or crafting businesses any anymore, you know, like any small business owners. Um, there was one that I mentioned lots of times in the past, but she actually decided to close down. She retired. And so really what we have for craft stores up here, like just traditional, you know, arts and crafts and stuff like that, is there's one art store, but it doesn't really have like scrapbook stuff. Um, and then there's, you know, Michael's and Joann's, and that's pretty much it. And I actually had a comment left on one of my listing videos that I thought really kind of made a lot of sense. And because I guess I should say that I wasn't really sure that everybody would want to watch these videos, and a lot of you guys have really liked them. And I was surprised by that, but this comment kind of made sense to me. I don't know if it, it will for you guys, but this comment was made, and I believe the pronunciation of your name, I hope I'm saying this right, is Rhea. Um, and I only wrote down your first name. But she said that these types of videos remind her of going to the local scrapbook store and working on her projects. Now that the little stores in her area have gone out of business, these videos are an, a great alternative. And so that kind of made sense to me because I don't really have any place to go and craft either. I don't have um, a lot of friends that are very crafty either. Um, so when you said, when you wrote that, that kind of rang true for me. I know I like to watch the same kind of videos. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there for everybody and also say thank you to Rhea for putting it down there because that made a lot of sense to me. So anyhow, I think this is actually done already. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty good. I think we're done. Um, I'm not going to put anything else down. I don't want to get it any busier than it already is. If you guys have any questions about anything I did, I know this was kind of a quick one today because I had a good part of it done. Um, just let me know if you, like I said, comments, questions. Um, again, I'm sorry if I'm rambling on. Um, I am really enjoying myself doing these little pages. I hope you guys are still liking them. Um, and I think that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I hope you're having a great day where you're at. Bye, everybody.